Hello, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium. The last two or three days I've tried to do a video about world events. I just, I get into it and then I delete it and then I do another one, I delete it and I do another one, I delete it. I can't really come up with much. There's Peanut, the Wonder Dog. He's gotten bigger, hasn't he? Anyway, um, so I just said I'm not, I'm not going to do one on world events. And then as I was having my sandwich, uh, someone said floating crap game. Well, it's not good news, but it is news from the other side. It's about the time I give up on something, they won't let me give up on something. So I want you to think of the world as a floating crap game. A uh, floating crap game is for you non-gamblers. It's here one day, and then it's over here another day, and it's over here another day. Um, usually to elude detection and the arrests that go along with the crap game. 40s, 50s, 60s. Um, and they made that Guys and Dolls. They made that musical. Frank Sinatra, yeah, list of characters. Uh, anyway, and it's the oldest, whatever, original floating crap game in New York. So I've been hearing that. So I knew I knew it was on the right track. Um, the thing about a floating crap game is. Every place it goes, there's a certain number of winners, a lot of losers, and some people break even. There goes Peanut. Um, depending how stupid we are. Stupid gambler. Um, loses. And... We're gambling with our lives when we don't wear a mask. Now, I'm not the guy to say everybody needs to wear a mask. That's not me. I don't know enough about it. All I know is they say to wear a mask or you can't come in here. So I put a mask on. No, it doesn't affect my rights as an American. Because when you go into one of those buildings, it's private property. And they have the right to tell you to wear a mask or, not, or don't enter. Because it's private property, it's not public property. So every place we go, which is very few places, grocery store, that's about it, back home. Occasionally we eat a burger, but we, we do curb, they bring it out to us. So it's sort of keep up the semblance of a normal life. So... If you know you're susceptible to it, if you have a weakened immune system, put a mask on or don't. And that's where the crap game comes in. Um, beaches down in Florida full of people having fun in the sun. We won't be seeing some of them before long. The hospitals are full. Uh, I like this. Now someone's saying, Russian roulette, that's what they're doing. It's where you take a gun and you put one bullet in it and you spin it around and you point it at your head and pull the trigger. Doesn't work with automatics. You have to have a revolver. As if that matters. What, what we have is a floating crap game. It goes from country to country, town to town, city to city. Um, creating havoc depending on how stupid the gamblers are. If you're a smart gambler, you don't overbet, you handle the dice well, or life well, you come out with a little bit of money, you're okay. Or if you break even, that's considered a win. Most crap games. You want to be a high roller and take a lot of chances and not wear a mask. 
We won't be seeing you for Thanksgiving. Um, so that's the world as the other side sees it. Everything's a floating crap game. Economically, jobs are shutting down. New ones are being created. There's, a, there's going to be a time lag between the loss of a lot of jobs and the creation of new jobs. Because a lot of jobs just aren't coming back. They furloughed thousands of people, and they're not taking them back. They're going to they're going to do a reduced operation until things begin to make sense. So jobs are scarce. Want to know what the number one job to apply for now? I know you do. If you're out of work and you're really needing a job. The number one job that that is needed right now, according to the job market, repossession specialist. They're taking cars and houses and everything. You can't make the payments, they're not gonna wait. That'd be nice if the world could just, you know, hold wait, wait a minute. Let me catch up. I'm not wearing a mask, but I don't think you got anything from that. Little COVID humor. Um, world's a very distrustful place now. And this administration has done, in some cases, irreparable damage. Things will not be repairable. Things have gone so far and are so screwed up. It's like Larry, Moe, and Curly are running things. You know, whoop, 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 that kind of stuff. Larry, Moe, and Curly. I'll give it to you to figure out which one switch. Anyway, that's what I've got from the other side. Life right now is a floating crap game. Even if you stay inside, You've probably been exposed to some of it a little bit. You want to go out without a mask, without... They don't have any beds down there. They're full, about a mile from here. Nice new hospital. Can't take any more patients. They're just telling people to stay home. They might prescribe you something, but they don't have anything for it, really. They have drugs that can reduce the pain and the nausea and the, um, all that stuff. They don't have anything when you lose the, the ability to smell or taste. There's no drug for that. Although that one's not particularly damaging. I guess that's the world as they see it right now. A floating crap game those who go out without masks in the large groups of people for no reason other than they think their rights are being violated if they don't, they're playing Russian roulette. That's not a good game to play. There's like one in five or something. Anyway, and then I, I got to thinking this morning, that's a Southern phrase, I got to thinking. I was just thoughts occur to me that there are lots of healers in the world. And I decided to look and see if there were any healers offering free healings for COVID-19 illness. If, if there were people that were really bad that needed it. I did see a couple, but they're not doing the, the one that really, you know, the phone, the Skype, they're just saying, Tell us who you are and uh, we'll send you some energy. Uh, I don't think that works too well. I think you need to know more than that. I know when I do readings, I need a contact either through a phone or Skype or FaceTime or WhatsApp or something. A phone will work pretty good. I don't know why, but I do need that connection. So, um, 
I was wondering why. And I'm not a specialist. I'm thinking maybe I should offer something like that. Anyway, I'm going to give it some thought. My great fear is that I would offer a free healing and then my phone would ring for the next month and I wouldn't get any other work done. But I believe um, distance healing, energy healing, psychic energy healing, which is what I'm claiming I do, uh, would work on it. I already had a report from someone saying it did. So, And these things are not 100%. The only problem I see with it is that people say, and I actually heard this in a video, a guy said, I don't think you're going to be able to do anything, but you're willing, you're welcome to try. I'm thinking this guy, he set himself up and he didn't get anything because he basically blocked the energy that was trying to help him by saying, I don't think you can do this. No has a terrific impact on the other side. When you say no, you don't allow that energy in and you're stuck. What you need to say is yes. So I suspect a lot of healing that has been tried has not been successful because people um, lack belief. For those who believe that healing works and mediums work, uh, no explanation is necessary. For those who don't believe, no proof is possible. You can't prove an abstract. You, you, can't believe, you can't prove that love exists, although I know it does because I'm in love. So my final thought for the day, no fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.